Hi guys, this is Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. It's probably about 3.30 p.m. Central Standard Time and the crew has left for the day and I thought I'd walk out and give you an update on my home base remodeling. This is again episode number three of how many, I have no clue, but I'll show you what they've done today. They've done a lot, believe me. <clears throat> they've been busy. But anyway, there's the dirt mover and there's the dirt. Had the dirt not showed up late, they would have probably been ready to pour concrete tomorrow, but I don't think they're going to pour concrete tomorrow because <clears throat> they still got to spread the dirt, put in the steel, the forms are up, and I'll show you what we've got so far. Yeah, they're doing a good job. I mean, they're measuring everything, checking it twice, and there's one guy that's a real stickler. I mean, a sixteenth of an inch, he'll actually tear something out and start over again. Yeah, he's, he, yeah he gets on these guys' nerves. But he, he's my man. <laughs> but anyway, you can see where this farm is right here. That's going to be a 10 by 10 foot patio. And you can see how high it is going to be off the ground. And that just came out as a result of making this all level. To make this all level, that's the way it came out. Because I didn't want to have any steps anywhere. And the good part about it is, uh, you can see how the concrete will come to the, where that orange card is. All right. So, and that's all good because it gives me at least four inches above that rail. And that's all there is anyway, because it's only going to have a four inch slab. But here for the uh, patio, that line is pushed down. Should be up a little bit like, well, anyway, should be up a little bit. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, so that way, whenever I walk from the patio, uh, under the carport, I'll just be walking all on a straight level slab all the way around here and you can see the forms are all ready to go and uh, all they got to do now is move some dirt and what else? Put in the, put in the, uh, the uh, metal, the uh, steel and then we're good to go. I don't think they're going to pour tomorrow though. I don't know how. They've got, a, got this tractor to move the uh, dirt with <clears throat> which obviously will make it go a lot faster. But I doubt that they'll be able to get the dirt in place, get the steel in place to have concrete delivered tomorrow. So I imagine it'll be Monday before they pour and there's all that junk. That's all gonna be hauled out right there. Those chairs are gonna go and a lot of junk over there. Of course, this right here, that under that plastic cover, those two right there I'm gonna keep. Uh, that's just some miscellaneous junk. I could probably get rid of that too, but I'm not. But anyway, there's old Thorny out there sitting in the sun, loves the sunlight, and there's my table that I'll put on the patio once it's done. But yeah, they're doing a good job. I'm pleased and had, again, had the dirt not shown up uh, about two and a half hours later than they anticipated. Maybe they could have been ready to pour tomorrow, pour the concrete, but I doubt it. It would have, it would have been close. But yeah, they're, they're doing a fine job. They're doing a fine job. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be all right. And I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, I did just want to give you an update on the uh, home base remodel. I'm excited. I mean, this is going to work out just really well. I mean, there's a... Everything's coming together okay. I mean, it's going to be just fine. And I'll be glad to get my travel trailer... Bow and arrow, me and my arrow. I'll get arrow back up on here. But you can see, and what I, I did, I, I, I never had noticed these before years ago when I used to work construction. You know, we didn't use these metal things there. You know, they drive them in the ground. They drive one at an angle and then nail it and then drive one straight down. And uh, they have different lengths. And yeah, they're pretty handy and it goes much quicker than having to, you know, cut boards and all that stuff. And they're reusable, so that's good. But anyway, just letting you take a look here. And what else? Uh, glad they brought that in because I thought they were going to do this all by hand. They were, they were going to move this dirt with a shovel and I thought, man, that's going to take forever. And then he backs in here with this thing and he can operate it too, I promise you that. But anyway, there's my home for right now. It looks like I'll be in out here parked uh, in the direct sunlight for a few more days. Doesn't hurt anything, that 6,000 BTU. AC is cycling, so you know what I mean. It uh, keeps it very comfortable inside. Now, if I'd have been out here without that and had to use that Danby thing up there, that 5,000 BTU unit, I'd be toasting right now because it won't get the RV 
below 82, 84 degrees in direct sunlight, particularly at around 100 degrees. But anyway, it is a nice hot day and I'm right out in the sunlight. I'm going to walk out here now and get my truck and end the video because I parked out in the street. And uh, there's my neighbors across the street. But anyway, from uh, Central Texas uh, doing the finishing up. or Well, I'd say right now they're probably 60% complete. And uh, anyway, thumbs up, guys. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you like. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. I sincerely appreciate that. And for those of you that have and are, I pat yourself on the back. I do appreciate it. You know, that, that's all That's all you need to do, you know, and it, it doesn't cost you a penny. But having said that, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind, keep your health, okay? And enjoy your life one day at a time. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.